Luma Labs just released a huge update for controlling camera movement in its AI-generated videos. The ability to control camera motions is super important, and adding that in could make Luma one of the best AI video generators out there. I tested out how this feature works, and they did add in a bunch of new camera motions, but how well does it actually work? Let's take a look. I've signed into Luma. To use the camera controls, just type camera into the prompt and a menu shows up with a bunch of different options. You can move the camera left, right, up or down, pushing or pull out, which is basically like zooming or zoom out. You can pan left or right. There's also a few pretty unique motions, like orbit, which essentially rotates around the subject in the video, or the crane shot, which rotates vertically relative to the subject. I haven't seen these being offered in other AI video generators before, so I was excited to try them out. But let's start with something simple first. We'll select the camera move right option and prompt for a beautiful panoramic shot of Niagara Falls during the winter. It is snowing. Basically to access the camera controls, it just adds in the phrase describing the movement into your prompts. In the resulting video, the camera moves right and gives us a nice panoramic shot. I found that basic movements work pretty well especially for landscape images, but it won't always follow the motions you asked for exactly. I prompted for the camera to move up and down, and instead it gave me a tilting motion for these landscapes, but it does get the movement direction correct. Pushing and pull out also worked successfully when using text to video. The camera correctly zooms in and zooms out according to the prompt, although I later found out that it's a different story for image to video, we'll get to that later. Now, what I was really curious about was these new orbit and crane camera movements. I haven't seen this before, so I was eager to try them out. I tried to orbit left. I'm pretty sure this actually goes in the wrong direction and orbits to the right though. Also, it zooms in onto the feet. That's not as much of an issue as it turning in the wrong direction. I also tried asking for it to orbit right. This time, the camera motion worked correctly. But we see some limitations of the AI though, as the head gets twisted around on the body, and it's facing the wrong direction. For the crane shots, I tried to find the easiest possible prompt examples of statues and monuments where this type of camera motion should be pretty common. However, I wasn't able to get these to work properly either. The camera kind of just zooms out. The most important question is, how well does this work for image to video? Can you control videos animated using your own reference images with the camera motions feature? Let's upload our own picture using this upload icon. Here's a close up portrait. And once again, I'll type camera into the prompt. This time I'll try panning to the left. Panning left and right for portrait shots seem to work pretty consistently. However, the move up and move down directions didn't always register. The video I generated using move down just stays still, there isn't any motion. I had pretty high hopes for pushing and pull out since camera zoom should be a pretty straightforward and common motion to animate, but it seems really inconsistent. If you look carefully, for this example the camera push in actually slightly zooms out and the camera pull out zooms in slightly, so it gives me the opposite motion of what it was supposed to. Here's another example of a landscape, and the animation looks the same for both push in and pull out. The camera zooms in and moves closer to the statue for both of them. I tried really, really hard to get this orbit motion to work. I used the most simple examples I could think of, like a statue standing still, but it wasn't able to produce any motion that looked similar to what the feature animation looks like. I tried a few other different subjects taken from different camera angles. I don't think this orbit motion works that well at all. Let me know if I'm missing something here or if I'm doing something wrong. For the crane shots, again I tried to find simple examples. For crane up, I started with a low body shot and I was hoping the camera would move upwards above the subject. It just zooms in though. For crane down, I started with a high angle shot above the subject and tried to animate the camera moving downwards. Again, this doesn't work as intended. Based on my test so far, the camera control works a lot better for text to video than image to video. Luma's made some big updates recently, with some big improvements to its text to video quality. It's also slightly improved the image to video. However, I don't think this camera motions update works as well as it could. You may find it to be pretty inconsistent. If you want to learn how to animate the best looking videos using the amazing clean AI video generator, go and take a look at this tutorial I made over here.